In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a couple of handy new Blender add-ons that can boost your productivity and help you get stuff done. From procedural tools to rendering add-ons and extensive libraries, there is something for everyone in today's video. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're going to start with an add-on that is all about helping you create asset libraries. If you ever tried to manually create an asset library in Blender, then you know how time-consuming it can be, especially rendering thumbnails for each asset. Well, using the Assets Library Builder add-on, you won't have to worry about that, because the process is tedious and repetitive. So let me tell you what this add-on offers. One big feature that this add-on comes with is the ability to automatically render thumbnails for multiple assets at once. On top of that, this add-on comes with a couple of presets for custom lighting setups that you can choose from to showcase your assets in a good lighting condition. And the developer promises to add more and more presets in the future. Another handy tool that you might want to use is the camera angle preset. And what this does is that it gives you the ability to select from custom camera angles if you want to showcase your assets, especially if you want to do that from different angles, like from the side, the bottom, or the top. This add-on also comes with a couple of additional features, like a tool to automatically set your origin to the bottom of your model within a single click, as well as a tool to batch rename your assets, which is really cool to have with this add-on. Creating asset libraries might not be fun, but creating fluids can be really interesting. That's why we're going to talk about Aquaflow Pro, which is a fluid dynamics tool for Blender powered by geometry nodes, and from what I can see, it allows you to create detailed fluids using geometry nodes. Setting the add-on is really easy. It includes all the necessary assets, and you can easily add it into your Blender project by dragging and dropping files or directly appending them. And here is where it gets really exciting. Using Aquaflow Pro, you can easily manipulate fluid paths, tweaking settings to get exactly the effect you want. Plus. With options to emit from the ground or objects, the possibilities are truly endless, like bubbling cauldrons, flowing rivers, or even splashing waves on a beach. And Aquaflow Pro doesn't stop there, because you can mesh particles, instance objects into your fluids, and even morph shapes for added flair. But perhaps one of the coolest features of the add-on is the ability to add wet maps. This tool simulates how objects look when interacting with fluid surfaces by making it extra reflective on those areas, which adds an additional layer of realism to your scenes. And just like any other tool, Aquaflow Pro has some limits. For instance, it can't fill containers just yet, but for everything else, it can be a great tool. And I can see myself using this add-on instead of having to go through the trouble of manually simulating and caching the fluids, which is a tedious and time-consuming process. Now, let's go to rendering news with the Render Raw add-on, which makes rendering vibrant colors in Blender a lot easier for you to achieve. And it works by using Blender's secret weapon for colors, which is no other than the raw view transform that is often overlooked. But it ensures that your colors look crispy and vibrant on any type of screen. So you no longer have to put up with the complex process of color adjustment because the add-on simplifies the entire process by eliminating the need for confusing node setups and endless adjustments. And it works by using sliders that give you control over your colors, adjusting exposure, gamma, and contrast. In addition to sliders, for fine-tuning the white, highlights, shadows, and black levels. Also, details can be brought out of the values using sharpening, texture, and clarity controls which pack everything you could ask for. Also, this add-on comes with some additional features, like the ability to add various post-processing effects, like lens distortion and film grain for that extra touch of realism, which is a nice feature to have. Talking about updates, we have Alt-Tab EasyFog 2, which is a quick solution for anyone trying to achieve those realistic volumetric renders, including clouds, smoke, or any sort of foggy effect. This add-on comes with lots of features and it offers over a hundred static VDB volumes 
containing clouds, explosions, abstract volumes, ground fog, shock waves, guide rays, and the list goes on. It also comes with 50 procedural volume materials, which can be animated manually. But if you're lazy and don't want to do that, then you can use pre-animated presets that are compatible with the Blender Asset Browser, which is pretty handy. Additionally, these presets are fully customizable, enabling you to easily adjust density, color, texture mapping, and noise texture, all of which are neatly organized through a simple UI, containing sliders and values that are straight to the point. It is also worth noting that the add-on supports only Cycles Render Engine, so you need to keep an eye on your computer's performance, especially when working on bigger scenes or if you have a slower machine. Now, if you want to create terrains, the Dynamic Terrain add-on is all about creating and generating landscapes within Blender, which can be quite time-consuming. The tool is powered by geometry nodes, and it comes with a couple of features for quick and easy terrain generation. First, it packs all the animated stuff into a couple of adjustable parameters that you can modify and preview as it changes in real time. Also, Dynamic Terrain comes with a complex node setup offering procedural materials for lakes, snow, ground, dunes, cliffs, and so much more. This can be especially useful because it doesn't require to have extensive knowledge of shader nodes in order to come up with a realistic looking terrain, which is what this add-on is all about. Another feature that this add-on offers is the ability to integrate and scatter assets in your terrain, whether it be rocks, trees, or other elements. And you can get precise control over the distribution of your assets using the weight paint mode by simply painting over the specific areas that you want your assets to be scattered onto. Now, if you want to measure everything in your scene and create accurate 3D models, you can take a look at GeoMeasure. And just like its name suggests, this add-on is all about getting precise measurements of your 3D models right inside the Blender's viewport. For instance, this add-on has a good deal of customizability, giving you the option to switch units from centimeters, inches, feet, and so on. And you can also change size, fine-tune offsets, and add vibrancy by adding a dynamic color axis for Y, X, and Z dimensions. Also, this add-on is really interactive, since it works in real time, making it possible to accurately visualize your dimensions as you are working on your 3D model, which can be handy especially for product design, architecture, and so on. Setting this add-on is also simple. All you have to do is append the GeoMeasure node setup into your scene. Now select your object, add a geometry node setup in the modifiers tab, and finally select the GeoMeasure node setup, and you are ready to go. Last but not least, we have another geometry node tool for you to procedurally generate handrails, railings, and banisters all inside Blender which is especially useful for those of you who are into making architecture scenes and renders. And using this tool can be as easy as it gets. Simply append the geometry node setup on your project, now add a curve, and go to the modifiers tab and select the procedural handrail node setup. Now all that is left to do is adjust your curve using handles and fully customize your handrail effect using the many adjustable settings that it comes with. And this gives you control over height, column resolution, base, and top profile heights, in addition to middle distance and resolution as well as an inclined offset, which works with stairs as well. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.